Scott and Angie Denny grew up living an outdoor lifestyle, a lifestyle filled with adventure, a lifestyle filled with a rich family heritage that led them to Table Mountain. I'm Angie. And I'm Scott. Welcome to another episode of Life at Table Mountain. On this week's episode, our guests are Joel and Janice Maxfield from Matthews. And they're really good friends of ours, but Janice has never gotten an opportunity at an elk. Until this week. I looked at that camera. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, you Until should. now. <laughs> Until now. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. Until now. Angie Denny and Janice Maxfield spotted a bull and a bunch of cows, but they moved off before they could close the gap. We should probably just leave these two alone for a while, come back and check them this afternoon or evening. It seems like they're better than they're yeah. watching at all. So. They're talking, but they're not willing to come anywhere. Yeah. Probably just laying down to them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They'll be there tonight. Yeah. And they'll usually come out and walk, work down this draw back out into the meadow, so. That would be better than. We might be able to be set up and waiting yeah. for them this <laughs> time. Have to climb up all the way. Yeah. yeah. We'll bust them if we get in too close. Too close yeah. So they'll be ready to, to talk a little bit more tonight. Yeah. So, we can do that. In this situation, we just could not get in front of this bull. We tried several attempts at it, and it just it wasn't working. So we backed out to come back in later. A few hours later, they set off and called to a good bull on the ridge, but he hangs up at 200 yards. Then, a totally different bull sneaks in from another direction. But Janice never gets a shot. Nice bull. What? Nice bull. He is going. He can smell us. Well, we've done a lot of walking. A lot of walking to several ridge tops. Uh -huh. and down to the bottom of several canyons. canyons. <laughs> we found wallows, we found all sheds. sorts of sign. Sheds, sheds, lots of sheds. Yep. Yeah. 
So had now, some elk bugle. So, some encounters. Uh -huh. It's only the second day. Yeah, it's been so. pretty good. It, you know, and honestly, it feels slow to me for this time of year. I feel like they should be a little bit more amped up than they I are. I thought they should be bugling more. Mm -hmm. You're saying that's down yep. a lot, but it seems like it is. It's harder so. to find them. <laughs> it is. So it is. we've been going up, spotting, Spot stalking. Spot stalking, and that's tough. Yes. We have to We're see smart. them first, and the wind. Wind's not been our friend. <laughs> Life at Table Mountain is brought to you by Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter of hunting, fishing, and outdoor gear. Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Matthew Solocam, catch us if you can. Havilon Knives, never lose your edge. And Stony Point, stone cold certain. Life at Table Mountain, brought to you by She Safari clothing for her expedition. This week, Scott and Angie are guiding for elk near Cheyenne, Wyoming. Now let's get back to the hunt. Angie and Janice are watching a good bull, but they are almost out of light. Come right in, boy. They're in the water drinking. Never give us a shot. As soon as they left, they look out. Here comes a train of them down the hill. I'm like, all right, here we go. There's four does and a pretty nice spot. And, and then uh, they got there and they just got like, So the next day, we all went hunting. That's right. My hunter filled out early, and I didn't feel like sitting around camp, so we all went. You can say that again. Two cameramen, two guides, and the hunter. And we still managed to get the job done. Watch this. This happens a lot. You're right. We were working on a bull across canyon and another one snuck in. From this angle, it's hard to see the bull, but if the cameraman stands up now, this hunt will be over. Right. 
That was kind of a good shot. That's, <laughs> That's not a good shot. shot. When you said how far, I knew you had him. You had him in your I snuck that arrow through too. And I'm like, oh. my first out. <laughs> he was right here. At like 10 yards. 20. 20. 20. It was 17 and a half. I pulled up and I saw I see. I just have to look. I see horns coming. I'm like, I know. Oh my God. 17 and a half. And they just, I, I could see them head on. Thank you. <laughs> it's the last thing I thought was going to happen today. <laughs> You know, Janice was so excited. You know, you just can't reenact that. That's for sure. Congratulations. <laughs> there you go. We found my bowl. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, this is probably the worst we've ever seen. I've never seen a set of antlers blow up like that before, Real especially bad. on a bull elk. Yeah, that's just that's just a tragedy. Yeah. Before. As I'm dropping another one. <laughs> Which it took too long to find all these yeah. pieces. That's right. I mean, well, it's the force of him coming down. He was. We were we shot him. You know, it was high. And yeah. He was gonna. Oh. You know. He just drove down the hill. And when you hit them that good, and they and you're in steep country, they just die. Yeah. And they just, they just, the momentum takes them down, and they just. He just happened to find rocks. Yeah, yeah. rocks instead of the trees. Big so. time. It, uh, <laughs> but it's a bummer, but uh, we, we broke one curse we anyways. Did. Yeah, I got my first elk. Right. <laughs> and I made a good, good. shot. Fantastic. So, and I don't, uh, you fed that arrow through the trees absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I because mean, I was having a hard time just getting the range through the trees from where I was sitting. So yeah. when you said, how far, how far, I'm thinking she's got a bead on her. <laughs> now. So, Tell great. me which one. Yeah. That was neat. And, you know, looking across canyon, we're calling. There's a bull standing over there. And, well, I, I went to make a move, and all of a sudden, I just see his antlers coming up through through the trees. Oh, that was that was pretty and he exciting. He just squats yeah. down. It's knock, 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 knock. Yeah. <laughs> well, first said like mule deer or something. We we're looking at those elk, and I'm like, oh, mule deer's coming up. I don't have a tag. And <laughs> no. also, you're like, no. <laughs> and then he comes up facing you, yeah. and you can't. See I him. can't see him because of the I big rock. See him from where yeah. I was, but he, he, he had us at that point. Yeah. Starting. Just peeking around there. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was pretty neat. He trotted a bit. Too fast. No. That was good. He trotted and not far enough. We've got a uh, major pack out yeah. of here. And, and you know, I know that the cameras do not show how steep this country is, but you can tell I'm standing, she's sitting, but really it is straight up from yep. here. And so we've got to go get packs and everything else. and The work starts. Yep, yep. Well, absolutely. you guys get your photographs and uh, tags and all that taken care okay. of. Okay. We'll be ahead. back in a few minutes. Okay. I hope. Sounds good. I need to tag my first elk. Life at Table Mountain. Life at Table Mountain is brought to you by Rhino Ground Blinds. Rhino Tough. Now, let's get back to Wyoming. Janice Maxfield has already tagged out with a good bull. You know, it's our first archery elk hunt of the season, and Janice Maxfield's now tagged out. Now it's her husband's turn. And there's some serious competition That's there. Right. <laughs> He's a six by. Good tops. Ready? Yeah. Let's run down there and see what happens. He's pretty preoccupied with the cows right now. They will get led.
way feel. They've caught up with a good bull, and Joel is getting ready for the shot. Life at Table Mountain. Life at Table Mountain with Scott and Angie Denny. This is a good bull in the meadow. Joel Maxfield is getting ready to light him up. Uh -oh. He's down. He's right there. He's down. Yeah! Yeah! He's down. His horns are right there. They're sideways. I was like, I just panicked. I wanted to see no. it, man. I seen it. It hammered him right in the heart. Yeah. I was say, it sounded good. <laughs> Man, that was quick. It was white tail. Wait a minute. That's him. Oh, let's see. It's him. It's him. That, those white tails, those busted. We had him perfect. Ran right into the herd. I mean, they all blew they, up. They don't even know why they blew up. They no. just. And I st Cal called. You seen him? And I seen him turn around back. And that's him, though. That's Here. him. Look at that. Oh. Very cool. Look <laughs> awesome. at that. Oh. Next. Well, and how many days have I come down here and said, oh, there's always bulls down here, or we always find bulls down the meadows, and you're like, yeah, all right, I'm sure, going to open. Angie. <laughs> and you every day me. we come here in glass, and I'm I like, yeah, sure, anything. Angie, there's always bulls in the yeah, meadow. sure. <laughs> and so this morning you got to I say, going, Joel, Yay! there's a bull in the meadow. <laughs> Finally. Two bows of bulls in the meadow. Yeah. <laughs> we knew we had to move fast. We had them in a good spot you know, where we could get through the willows there, and and it was, it was, was do or die time. It was time to make something happen. He was close enough to the willows to get a shot, and you took off crashing through the willows, cow calling, busting brush. And that one cow was standing there looking at she us, and us I thought, pegged. oh, there's a cow, there's a cow. And he said, it don't matter. Come on, come it's on, come on. It's time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> well, and we popped out, and you said he's 60 yards. And at that point, I didn't really even see him yet. I stepped over, and I'm like, wow, he's broadside. Everything's <laughs> perfect, you know? It was so awesome. I just scrambled to get an arrow together. Yep. Worked out real good. Yeah, we had that oh, was the one lane. Yeah, <laughs> in, out of all of it that we could have shot out. Yeah, it was and, wide I mean, open. It was, yeah, it, it was meant to be, obviously. Cause yeah, it it, uh, it was fast and uh, it was awesome though. You know, Came hunting the willows perfect. is fun, but it doesn't usually work out that good. <laughs> yeah. You usually you gotta got, work it. You have it to and... really work a lane in there and find the opening, right. and it just happened to be right there. And spring. it looks like great cover to stock, it but it's really thick. It it's is. not that easy to get through. No. No. Not at all. No. And there's all that water in there. I mean, there's. if we would have tried crossing, we would have been up to our waist in <laughs> muck and mud. And yep. It was a lot nicer just to drive around. And it, was. it was. It was. <laughs> we don't get treated like this very often. We like it. We like it when we can get down here close. Yep. And we'll be able to, instead of like Janice is having to pack him out in pieces, we get to load this one up in the truck hole. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. Uh, I Which like is nice. that. Well, he's got good fronts. He's been rubbing real hard on those willows. He's yeah. all, yep. you can see all the, all the sap and. I love the dark horns and yeah, you the, know, the polished nice polished top. tips. Yep. And, you know, White tips. tips on him. Yeah. I love that. It's just yeah, it's pretty. neat to see. You could see them tips. You know, they really stuck out all the way across the meadow. You right. Well, when he, when he went behind the meadow, at the willows there at the one point, the only thing you could see was his tips yeah. coming through. And I <laughs> kept saying, if you horns, just scan yeah. the top, you can see them. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Excellent blue, great mass on him. Real nice fronts. Great thirds for this country. Yes. He's heavy. Yep. Yes. Good bull. Good bull. For more information on booking your hunt with Table Mountain Outfitters, log on to lifeattablemountain.com or call 307-632-6352. Life at Table Mountain has been brought to you by 
Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter of hunting, fishing, and outdoor gear. Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Matthew.